I feel like this whole vlog, all I've shot about my, is my skin and my hatred of alcohol and like I'm so sorry but that's just my vibe this week. Well I actually said that you might say hi because I was like Woo! Let's get ready to party! Look at that. Like how does anyone even get into selling feet pictures? Good vibes, yeah we bought them. So it is literally 4.40 a.m on Sunday the 19th of July, the same Sunday that you're seeing this video. And I'm finished editing it now. But I just wanna say, before we even get into this video, the audacity of me putting up an hour and 25 minute vlog as if anyone's gonna watch the whole thing. But yeah, if you do watch the whole thing, like definitely comment down below. Look at me. <laughs> so basically, I'm only finished editing now. Team no sleep. We love that for me. I know, like the absolute audacity of me putting up an hour and a half long vlog. But look, just enjoy it. Sit back, relax. Maybe pause the video right now and get some treats. Get your breakfast, get a smoothie, get some snacks, popcorn, if you will. Kind of white monster. Whatever you want. But sit back, relax. And just to let you know, if you don't have an hour and a half, to sit down and watch this video in full but you want to watch the whole thing keep the tab open and just pause it because if you keep xing out of it you'll ruin my wash time and like I know that's really rude of me to ask like I'm the one who put up an hour and a half long video how do I expect everyone to watch the whole thing through but like if you are going to watch the whole thing but just not all at once just pause it as opposed to xing out of the tab like the video comment subscribe enjoy it lads i don't know i'm way too tired and i've like it was an hour and 45 minutes and i was like Rebecca, you actually can't do that so i got it down to an hour and 26 and it's 20 to 5 i can't do any more i'm so sorry Okay, I'm gonna show up now. Enjoy. Good morning. Happy Monday, everyone. I don't know if you've ever seen me like this on this channel. Maybe at Christmas, but I am so hungover. I'm just gonna open the door. Um, so hungover. So I, as I told you, sorry, I actually have to sit down and breathe. So as I told you, Yesterday was Sunday and uh, we went, I went for a barbecue in Mackenzie's house, Mackenzie, best friend since I can't even remember when and um, she's home from Dubai for a few weeks <laughs> and Mackenzie is like Duracell bunny party like girl. So we went to hers yesterday at about two for a barbecue. I came home at one and we were drinking from two o'clock to one o'clock. Uh, what did I drink? What did I, I had White Claw. I had a lot of White Claw. I actually don't even remember. I, I, I'd say I, I had White Claw. We had mimosas. We started with mimosas. I, I, good few of those. Then Kate made porn star martinis. Like honestly the nicest porn star martini I've ever had. Um, and then, what else happened? Sorry now Alexi's coming, I don't want her to go outside. So Kate made porn, Kate made porn star martinis and then moved on to White Claw and was, like Kate was just, Kate made sex on the beach. She was just filling up by cop all day. Like, all day. Uh, so that was great. But we had a great day. But like, I woke up this morning so dehydrated. And you know me and my hydration. So I was so dehydrated. My heart was racing. Even though like I didn't have any Jaeger or anything. Actually no. Me then and Dean did a shot of Fireball. So that was great. Like, why? 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 What is the need? What was the need for that? I don't know. Um, so I w have been dying all morning. Like I vomited and everything. Oh, I haven't been this hungover in a while. And like, I don't like, like you know me, like I don't really, like I love mimosas and I love cocktails. So 
I like enjoyed drinking those, but like, what? Sorry, now this is all tangled. And <laughs> I just feel like like my head is pounding. I woke up this morning and vomited, but and then went back to sleep. Like it's half two now, um, and Mackenzie and Dean are collecting me. Hence why I'm sitting on the stairs, chatting to. Oh, they're here. At least I think that's them. Oh yeah. <clears throat> so uh, yeah, we're going for lunch now. All I want is like a Coke Zero. Sorry. All I want is a Coke Zero and um, chips. <sighs> not feeling, not feeling the best lads, not feeling the best, not gonna lie. Hold back the river, hold back. You're great subjects lads, <laughs> fabulous muses. It's just not what we need today ladies and gentlemen, it's just not what we need, you know. Oh, I'm so hungover. But my hangover has spurred my an idea for my podcast episode this week. So I was supposed to be lovely and planned and have my podcast episode scheduled to go live at 7am on Monday morning like it always does. Well, for the last three weeks it has anyway. I just didn't record it. Like I, I recorded an episode, right? But I feel like it was very similar to last week. So last week I talked about how to have the best week possible. And this week then I was gonna do how to be your own biggest fan or like the importance of it or whatever. And I was like, Rebecca, they're two quite similar topics. So I said I'd leave the biggest fan one for a few weeks and I'm gonna talk about when I'm home from the gym my thoughts on alcohol and my own personal relationship with alcohol and stuff like that because I think that would be more interesting and I feel like you know people love a good interesting podcast episode moment don't they link in bio um I actually feel fine but I'm excited to go to the gym and just sweat like I feel so shit so shit and I'm overheating now as well like I'm so warm I feel so disgusting I just don't want to be hungover but I'm actually very excited because when I come back from the gym I'm going to chill so um, there's no one here mom and dad are at the mobile Ben is working I'm here and I'm just gonna chill watch a movie not watch a movie. I never watch a movie. I'm gonna chill, make my dinner. I think I'm gonna have prawns, like a big prawn salad or something very healthy. And um, prawns, dinner, cable girls, YouTube, bed early, and then wake up tomorrow morning with a new lease of life. So yeah, happy hangover day. Like usually on a hangover day, Joey, you're like, Oh yeah, I get shit food, like takeaway for dinner, X, Y, Z. But like I was drinking all day yesterday. I'm still on Kiki's plan. So like obviously health and wealth and goals are my priorities, not alcohol. So I just have to remember that next time I go out with my friends who are absolutely insane. <laughs> Today's Monday like, and I have my check-in with Kiki on Friday this week because I'm going out for dinner with the girls on Friday night which won't turn in to a massive sesh. Yeah, I need to be going, be going to the gym. Like, I have no time for chicken fillet rolls and takeaways and potatoes. Like, you know, my goals are more important to me. It's nice to have self-awareness and to be able to say that, to be like, okay, you know, great fun yesterday, great day, but won't be doing that again anytime soon, aka the alcohol side of it, like, because such a waste like and I don't even well I do like porn star martinis now I can't say no to those okay I'm gonna stop rambling get ready for the gym try not to vomit and see you later hello, hello everybody happy Tuesday I'm coming to you from a Tuesday evening situation it Tuesday has happened already but I woke up basically this morning and I had I woke up at half eight first and then I was like like I love my bed in the mornings and I'm like, I didn't, like I was like, there's no point me waking up at half eight, like getting out of bed. 
So I was like, they're sure what would I be at? So I didn't get out of bed and then I ended up like I had my gym slot booked for half ten and I didn't end up getting out of bed in time so I had to rush then to the gym. Sorry, I'm just trying to balance you because I just got a package and I want to open it with you. Can can we do this? Can we can we do this? Okay, good enough. I think I know what this is, but this is actually the worst. Why is this angle so shitty? I need more things to balance my camera on. Oh, hold on. Oh, there we go. Oh, great. Sorry now. There's a Netflix there in the background. Great. Hello. Happy Tuesday. So I just got this package and I'm pretty sure I know what it is. Because I've been invited to a virtual Zoom launch tomorrow. Which is... Ah, it is. So it's the first one I've been invited to. I have never been invited to a virtual brand thing tomorrow. But it is with Eucerin. I've never used anything from Eucerin, so I'm kind of excited. And I'm pretty sure this, why does it smell good? Why does the box, why does the bag smell nice? Um, but I just got sent this. My slot is at 11 a.m. Like it smells like there's some form of baked good in here. So I'm very intrigued. And I was actually kind of worried because they said they were sending out something for, oh my God, why does this smell so nice? For the event and for the Zoom meeting. Oh my God, what is in here? Okay, Jesus Christ. So we have a Hyaluron Filler Day Cream plumps up the appearance of deep wrinkles and improves skin's elasticity. Oh, we have some filler thing. Anti-age Hyaluron filler. I'm still, oh, I knew it smelled good. <gasps> Yum. There's some Lily O'Brien's salted caramel. Oh my God. You all know I love salted caramel and if you don't know now, you know. Oh my God, they sent me some coffee. I don't like coffee, but I know someone who will adore this. So it's like the 3 fe coffee this one's from brazil and the notes are dark chocolate dried cranberry and walnut so if i loved coffee i would be very excited about that because i think 3fe is supposed to be great we have a facial oil oh no what is this oh, i knew it smelled so good some shortbread yum there's a peeling night serum interesting very interesting you all know i love skincare that's so yeah it's all the thing tomorrow i'm pretty sure is all about um this new anti-age range from eucerin um i don't know much about eucerin i'm sure i will know a lot more tomorrow from after the meeting thing but it is dermalo dermatological skincare so it's all like good i'm pretty sure i don't think there's like bad stuff in this but i am excited because i actually do not have an eye cream as of this moment in time or an eye cream so i'm very excited i'm gonna put all these back in the bag now so i have them for tomorrow morning shout out to you serene i love this look at me with my feckin lovely delivery on a monday tuesday evening so yeah, we have loads of new skincare products and you know me, like when I get things, I do like to show them because I do appreciate brands sending them out, especially if it's stuff that I'm interested in, aka skincare. But then if something doesn't work for me, I just don't talk about it. But if it does, I will. I'll, I'll let you know because that's how I work, you know. I'm very particular with what I recommend. But I am also very grateful when I get some free skincare. So that's very exciting. Oh, I nearly dropped my camera. <laughs> Hello from a very... Okay, I wanted to show you something. So, as you can see, my skin is after having a major breakout. All here. Like, 
all here like I don't and all here as well it's kind of worse on this side though which is strange because normally if my skin breaks out it's worse that side but like it's all like from my chin all the way up I'm putting it down to one of two things number one the alcohol consumption at the weekend which like if it is that's so rude or number two wearing my face mask now I haven't been out that much to have to wear the face mask but I did wear it all day today or for a good bit today or I th to be honest I think it's the alcohol I'm just trying to show you in different lights because I feel like the camera isn't showing it as bad as it is look at that I'm actually shook. So I'm hoping that just kind of disappears within the next few days. I did a face mask. I did my, anytime I get a bad breakout, I use my Dermalogica sebum clearing mask because it gets rid of all the excess oils that kind of make the spots. And then I oil cleansed for about half an hour. Um, I've been mad into oil cleansing. So this is the mask I used. This one, and then I did oil cleansing with my Charlotte Tilbury cleanser. And then I just applied all my skincare. So I applied my retinol, my Dermalogica retinol that has clearing oil in it. So it's supposed to clear acne. And then I did use a few of the new Eucerin bits. And I don't know, was that a good idea? Because part of me is kind of like Rebecca, like, I know some of you might be looking being like, it's not that bad, but like my skin normally, like it's so angry looking. Um, But I did use a few of the new user and Brits just cause I couldn't help myself. So I used this thing. See, I don't know about any of them now cause I have the thing in the morning, but I used this peeling night serum. Um which I don't know if it can be used for, with retinol, but I'm gonna ask that tomorrow. Um, so this is a peeling night serum. It says it helps texture. Then I used this elasticity and filler facial oil because elasticity and filler sounds like everything I need. I just couldn't help myself. I said I wanted to use it tonight, but with a fresh breakout, I don't know, was it a good idea? But I mean, it can't get any worse. Can't get any worse. It's so bad. Is this what alcohol does to you? Like, was it all the sugar, like, in the cocktails or? What's the crack? It looks really bad there, I don't know. Like, all there. At least now, when I say about my acne flare ups, people will believe me because that shit is not cute. And I don't have my period. Like, my period's gone. So I'm putting it down to the alcohol, which is fine because I don't plan on drinking anytime soon. So I'm sure this shit should clear up. My pillowcases have been changed. I'm very notorious for changing my pillowcases regularly. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna put on some eye cream now and go to bed because I have my gym slot booked for nine in the morning just because I have the user in. It's like an online event. I have the online event at 11. So I was like, do you know what? instead of like i might as well just get up and go to the gym early and then i'd be ripe and ready for the event because i don't know like will i be dogging will someone else be dogging like what will be happening so hopefully i'll wake up and it'll be a bit better but like it looks so angry age-related redness which are the red so recently also we've launched a new hero which is the hyaluron filler plus elasticity eye cream so again, has an SPF 15, and this is ophthalmologically tested to ensure it can be used directly up to the eye. You have less oil production around your eye, so you need a richer um, consistency that will help. Good morning, good morning. It's not morning. Well, it is kind of a happy Wednesday. I thought it was Tuesday today, that's I'm all behind. I just was on a virtual event I've never used anything from Uterine before, but um, 
they contacted me like last week asking did I want to join the virtual event to learn about some skincare so of course I said yes because you know me in skincare remember I unboxed all this yesterday on camera so I just learned about these two ranges this range here the silver one is for like my skin because it's for people in their 20s and then this one the gold one is for post menopausal skin so um there's that also i put some on the back of my hand just because obviously we all know our hands age so if there is any product sometimes that i wouldn't be suitable for my face i just put them on my hands <laughs> um so yeah i learned all about this uh which was exciting i'm what i'm most excited to try is this this is a vitamin C, it's 10% vitamin C, but this is only a seven, sorry, it's now focusing. It's um, a seven to 10 day, like it's 10% pure vitamin C and it, you use it for seven to 10 days. And then I'm very excited as well for this nighttime situation. So it's um, a night peeling situation and a serum, I think it has like, is it AHA or BHA? I will use it and see how I get on. Obviously I don't want to switch out all my products I'm using at the moment because they're really working for my skin. And also, as we saw last night, my skin was having a bit of a mirror. It is better, to be honest, this morning. It's not as aggressive. There's still the little red under the skin bumps, but I feel like they'll be gone in about two or three days so it's not too bad um but yeah i had a nice morning learning about that i went to the gym very early i went to the gym at nine so i have my gym session done um i do have quite a bit of work to do today though because it's a pretty shitty day outside tbh um look at this it's my window covered in rain so uh that's the glorious Irish summer weather there we have lovely also there's so in Ireland with regards to lockdown COVID things there's the pubs and the pubs were supposed to open Monday we're supposed to be going into phase four of reopening on Monday um initially the phases were a lot slower but then the government speeded them up but then like a new government was formed and since the new government was formed just as i said a few weeks ago <laughs> nothing has really happened um except the announcement of like 17 new advisors because the government is split into three parties don't get me started so there's three parties now as opposed to one before and there's 17 new positions so obviously all those people have to get paid and obviously my tax is and other people's tax obviously is the one paying for them so yeah the government hasn't made an announcement since they've been in government basically and um the cases are rising there was 32 new cases yesterday and just to put that into perspective i know maybe some of you don't want to hear this but if you don't like if you don't want to hear any covid talk I might put a bit of COVID warning on the screen, you can just skip forward. <laughs> um, but just to put that into perspective, because I like documenting and obviously it'll be interesting for me to look back on this in a few years when COVID's over. Well, hi future me, <laughs> hope you're okay. Hope you're thriving, hope you're hydrated. Um, but yeah, yesterday there was 32 new cases and the 14th of March, which is the week that we went into lockdown, there was 39. So it just makes no sense. Like Irish people are being advised from the government against travel. So they're saying like, don't travel, like staycation, like travel at home this summer. But then we're allowing tourists from other countries in. So it's like, we may as well be going to Spain. You know, that can I, uh, not that I'm going to be going to Spain or traveling. Um, anytime soon <laughs> but i just i don't get it like make it make sense so i think the whole thing is that the pubs 
won't be allowed pubs bars won't be allowed open monday like they're supposed to be but like they should have announced this like they're like oh we're seeing day by day but like pubs have to know if they can open it just makes no sense i don't know part of me is like tinfoil hat like conspiracy gal and part of me is just like make it make sense like in march we had like on the 14th of march there was 39 new cases cases we were in lockdown or going into lockdown then because it was so dangerous to stay open and now it's july there was 32 cases new cases yesterday and everything's open and everyone's just bopping around not wearing masks like traveling like allowing flights in from america like what make it make sense make it make sense someone make it make sense please because I just can't make sense of it all and I'm trying not to think about it and I'm trying not to look at the news too often because realistically nothing's happening anyway and if anything big enough happens for me to know I'll I'll find out to that kind of way but I like I do like staying informed but I'm like sure nothing I do like I'm just wearing my mask you know I'm just staying at home as much as I can and wearing my mask uh, I do have dinner with the girls on Friday but like I haven't gone out for dinner um but I'm kind of like I don't want to stay too long like I don't also my nails are getting very long <laughs> I just noticed there like look at that middle one I should probably cut it um but yeah like I don't know it's just I'm just kind of like what what what's the next step because realistically if Ireland goes backwards because we're allowing so many tourists in and stuff like that and like nothing's really on lockdown anymore and no one's really wearing masks even though they did become compulsory now on um public transport so there is a fine but like in Chile where I live like no one really uses public like public transport isn't really a thing it's not really accessible so like I don't understand why they don't make it compulsory in like shops and grocery stores and any public place that is congested you know that kind of way i just like i saw a load of like people i follow on like instagram and youtube and stuff going on their holidays to like ibiza and stuff and i'm like technically we are allowed travel but we're not supposed to travel but we are but like and then they're working on this vaccine and then i'm like what's the va is what is the vaccine like how do we really know what we're being vaccinated with if we do get this vaccine i don't know i don't know i really i don't know and the whole thing is then if ireland goes backwards because of we're allowing people in like there's not real precaution or laws being put in place we're not like we're not going to be allowed to go anywhere like say potentially for me when i move to dubai which is happening you know speak it into existence um I mightn't be allowed to move because I have been living in Ireland and I have an Irish passport, if that makes sense. So yeah, it's so messed up. And then yesterday, Leo Bradker, which he was the Taoiseach, he's not anymore. Well, he is three-party government, lads. I don't know, how many people does it take to do one job and get the country going? Uh, so he basically announced that there should be random checks in airports like random covid testing done on tourists entering the country and i'm like no 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 no. there shouldn't be random tests it's not drugs people are bringing in it's a fucking global pandemic like there shouldn't be random tests number one everyone should be tested or number two they shouldn't be allowed in sorry this stuff just i'm very confused and i'm like i i'm not letting myself get worried or worked up about it because what's that gonna do nothing like what i'm like i can't do anything the only thing i can do is mind myself and mind my actions but i'm like it's not fucking rocket science like mm, why are we the only country in europe allowing americans in like every other country isn't so what like, it's very annoying but yeah if you are from ireland download the covid tracker app and uh check in every day and you know it helps also if you're like oh i don't know they'll have all my information then you're on youtube you have whatsapp instagram snapchat tiktok facebook on your phone like they have your information <laughs> like the covid app is not going to 
breach your security in any way if you have all those other apps like come on twitter um so yeah that is great that's my little rant about the current situation in the world in my opinion and i know i i'm all about like manifestation and speaking good things into existence but in my very humble opinion i feel like ireland's gonna be back on lockdown in the next week or two if we were supposed to be on lockdown in march when we had 39 new cases in a day why shouldn't we be in lockdown in july when we have 32 Melbourne has gone back into lockdown. My brother's actually in Melbourne in Australia and I think they're talking about putting Australia back into lockdown. And like part of me is like, yeah, it's good because like there's a global pandemic. Like we shouldn't be prioritizing money. We should be prioritizing health. Like that just makes sense. But then part of me is like tinfoil hat, you know, um, mass population control, like conspiracy vaccine like my mind is split you know that can i like part of me is like yes we should be back into lockdown and part of me is like this is the one percent way of like controlling population mass um population control and like all that kind of stuff so but i i'm just boxing that part of my brain like i'm like i'm talking about it to you now but like it's not like i run around my house 90 percent of the day screaming about the un injustices of the world and stuff like that. Speaking of injustices, I actually watched Ghislaine, Ghislaine. I should know after watching this, um, her bail hearing. A guy on YouTube, Sean Atwood, streamed it and um, she was denied bail. So for anyone interested in that whole thing, that was actually very interesting. So she was denied bail, but like, I don't think it's gonna go to trial, especially with COVID and everything for like another year. But it'll be interesting to kind of see how it unfolds either way. Like last night it was having a mare. It's definitely a lot better now, isn't it? Um, I used the Dermalogica Retinol Clearing Oil and the Dermalogica Sebum Clearing Mask last night. So I think both those things really got the aggression out um so i'll update you on the coming days on how my skin is because you all know like skin is like i used to be a makeup gal like i used to adore makeup adore talking about makeup but to be honest makeup was my tool to like hide my skin from the world whereas now that i've become so much more into skin i don't need makeup as much to hide my skin not that makeup is used as a mask like makeup is art i get it but i've just really made the transition in my life from being obsessed with makeup to being obsessed with like skincare body care hair care like makeup like i love makeup don't get me wrong but like i get way more excited now about skincare than i do makeup good morning baltimore I don't know why that song was in my head this morning. Hello, hello, how are we doing this morning? So right lads, I've started doing a little morning routine recently. And by recently I mean, oh my God. Sorry, skin update before we go any further. It's better, but it like, it's all bumpy. It should be clear within the next few days, but I'm just trying not to use anything new and just using what I know works and what I know will get rid of this shit show. Anyway, that's not what I was going to tell you. Um, I bought a new journal this week. So I am a big believer in gratitude and manifestation, you already know. But I bought, oh! Why is there a fly in my room? Please fly out, please exit the building. Oh, he's gone. So I bought a new journal this week. It's nothing fancy. It's literally just a notebook, I'll show you. It looks like this, it's just shiny. Um, but basically every morning I have been writing what I'm grateful for, what I'm manifesting and three things I want to do that 
day. So I always kind of did that in the mornings anyway, but whether I'd write it on my phone, whether I'd write it like on a random piece of paper in like a random diary or a random journal, but now I have my specific morning journal and it just it feels good like wake up don't go near my phone my phone is on phone is on do not disturb do not disturb and i do that and i do a bit of deep breathing drink some water then get my monster then talk to you because you ever see these youtubers with like these morning routines and these night routines and i'm like so you're meaning to tell me you do that every single morning or only the mornings you're trying to be perfect when you're filming your morning routine for YouTube. Um, but I'd actually kind of like to get into more of a morning routine and a night routine. So maybe I'll focus on that for the next few days. I know it's Thursday, weird day to start, but like, hey ho. Oh, hello, hello. Oh, happy Thursday evening. Pets. The sun is back. I'm currently vlogging on my phone. Um, but yeah, happy Thursday evening. I'm sitting in the garden, literally just soaking up the vitamin D. Don't worry, I have my SPF on because we are not about to burn our skin, honeys. Um, oh, hold on. I'm going to rest you up against the weed killer. Because why not? Oh, am I? Am I? yeah happy thursday um to be honest what did i do today i got up early went to the gym and then i had to help my mom set up <sighs> set up her new iphone and then my skin update it actually looks better now from being in the sun but like it's still so bumpy i don't know can you see there now like it's just all little bumps like all along here i'm trying not to touch it and all along there as well so we love that for me but it actually like it's not affecting me you know it's not like i'm upset about it it's just annoying because i know it's from alcohol and that's the part that's annoying me the most because i'm like but i'm going for dinner tomorrow with the girls and i'm most definitely not drinking uh, absolutely not like not happening um but yeah it's the most glorious evening like the sun has came back out in ireland and you all know it's been a while so i said so i do have a shit ton of work to do but i was like right yeah you can do that tomorrow realistically when it's raining <laughs> because it's just such a gorgeous evening and there's no one at home ben's at work my mom and dad are at the mobile with Lexi and I text the girls to see if they're around this evening um, just to come up and chill. I've prawns defrosting in the fridge which I'm very excited for. Normally I cook them from frozen but apparently that's really bad. Um, they're cooked and peeled like but apparently you're supposed to defrost them first. And I just had a shower and washed my hair even though it's after drying really fast because I came out and sat in the sun. But yeah it feels really nice and shiny and healthy. So yeah, that's kind of my Thursday evening buzz. Um, it's so nice and peaceful. And I've been listening to a lot of like Latin, Portuguese, Spanish, Brazilian style music. And it's just a vibe. Obviously I don't have a playing now because I'm filming and copyright. But I'm just sitting in my garden with my water and listening to some music. I'm having a great time. Like, I'm having a great time. Um, if you can, if it is sunny where you are this weekend, I recommend just going out, being in nature. You know, I'm a Taurus, I'm an earth sign. So yeah, just sit outside, play some music and chill. Lads, it is still Thursday. It's Thursday evening. Oh, look at my little fake plant. Anyway, I'm about to oil cleanse my skin Um, for a hot minute because I don't know if you can see but it doesn't look as bad on camera but it, and I hate being that girl that's like it doesn't look as bad but it is but it's like now focus like it's like all red dots and like it's all texture so I can feel it 
it's not like scars it's like all these red dots and like bumps all over my skin it's like fucking i actually don't even know what it's like skincare is my thing like i think that it's i think it's an ego thing it's like Skincare is my thing, like makeup used to be my thing, but I feel like I've transitioned to more of a skincare gal And I feel like I just like skincare is like my bliss and like Nothing makes me happier when my skin's like glowing and like smooth and like I rarely wear makeup now and that's not like shitting on anyone who does wear makeup or saying that people wear makeup to cover their skin but like for me the whole reason I started getting big, big into makeup was part of the reason was because I hated my skin but now I like love my skin and I love when it looks really glowy and I think it looks really fresh and like I love a good no makeup look like full no makeup like primer and mascara and brows and now it's fucking so, it's so annoying like it feels sore, like not sore, but it feels like I can just feel, like obviously I can feel it when I touch it, but even when I don't touch it. Yeah, so it's Thursday night, the girls just left, they just came up for a while. Um, it's so nice having us all together, like it's so nice. Because um, obviously Mackenzie lives in Dubai, Barbara's normally in London. Una is literally only back, well not only back, but she was living in Vietnam and like she's doing a masters now and then Kate was working but she would have been there too and it's kind of like <sighs> it's just nice having us all together it's like old times I am just really annoyed about my skin because I'm like tomorrow I'll have to wear makeup and not that I'll have to wear makeup like I don't think you have to cover up your skin but like I just wanted to be back to the way it was before <sighs> like literally I was looking at the comments on one of my recent videos on the video where I talk about um where I talk about what where I talk about how much money I make on YouTube like my most one of one of my most recent videos aside from my vlog and like literally someone commented and they were like oh my god your skin is glowing and I was like I know it is I know if anyone's a dermatologist, can you diagnose me? Like, is it definitely from the alcohol? Have I just all of a sudden become allergic to something? Like, is it COVID? <laughs> like, it's just all here. My cheeks are actually fine. Like, this area is fine. Like, my T-zone, my forehead is perfect. Oh, so that's lovely. I'm sorry. A lot of this weekly vlog was probably me talking about my skin, but... I just feel like skin is just so my thing um, and like I do you know the way I got all those new use serum products and now I'm terrified to even go near them because I don't want to use them and then either a have a reaction and make my skin worse or b not know if they're working properly because my skin's so bad so I'm just sticking to the same thing like my Dermalogica, my Charlotte Tilbury oil cleansing, my retinol, my mask I haven't even used my Scanton Sky Mask because my face just feels so tender, like all along here. It's like, it's like I've got like, I don't know what happened to it to be honest. Like I'm just putting it down to the alcohol because I'm like, what else could it be? So yeah, we're going for dinner tomorrow night. I'm not going near one piece of alcohol just because I want to clear this like very annoying oh yeah i told you that yesterday i think about the pubs not opening in ireland actually i just noticed you tell you i went on a big rant on my instagram story i don't really don't want to talk about it again because it was so low vibrational for me and like nothing came out of it and nothing like i feel like it's good to you know stay aware and talk about these things but at the end of the day it's like nothing good can come from me talking about it because i don't have the power to change anything when it comes to this anything i can only do like my best and i can only mind my own corner if that makes sense i was supposed to work this evening 
and I it was such a lovely evening so I literally just sat outside I showed you the clip but I sat outside for hours I read my book I did some manifesting I did some scripting and yeah I just had a lovely evening and I actually haven't been on my laptop all day and that never happens so I actually kind of love that for me how are you anyway how are you all doing um are you doing well what is the situation like in whatever part of the world you're in how are you feeling um i feel like you my little youtube community is growing a lot at the moment and like i don't know i just love making youtube videos i have a youtube video planned that i think i want to film saturday <laughs> Oil cleansing is so relaxing though. So you just like rub your face until all these little black oil plugs come out of your skin. It's kind of fun, kind of fresh. And also your skin feels so smooth after it. Obviously not if you have a massive bright breakout on your jawline, but other than that, it usually does. I had a good day today to be honest. Hopefully when I wake up in the morning my skin will feel some way better because now it just doesn't. Good morning, hello, happy Friday. Happy Friday, how are we? How are we doing? Gorgeous, not really day. It's raining. <laughs> but I do need to go to spare because I don't know how I let this kind of stuff happen but I am out of white monster and it actually really hurts me when I have to go to spare to get it now I do have three euro here because a can of mon a spare in a can of monster in spare is 280 and usually I get four for 460 you can imagine like I could be getting four but I'm not gonna walk to super value right now and like I'm so proud of myself like, I actually have like a chunk now. Well, what I would think a chunk. Maybe some people think it's a big chunk. Maybe some people think it's a little chunk. But it's a chunk all the same. Say the word chunk. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so I actually have a little chunk now um, of savings. And I'm very proud of myself because like the last, I do you know when I was actually last time I was really good for saving is when I was in Australia um, and when I had found out that I wouldn't be staying there. Um, so I don't know if as many people know this. Hold on, I'll put you down while I'm putting on my shoes. So anyway, last time I had, like last time I was this good at saving. I cut off and I don't know where I finished talking, but basically last time I saved this much money, I found out, I think it was like maybe just over two months before I was leaving Australia that I'd actually have to leave. I was like, well, I'm not just going to leave and go home straight to Ireland. Like, that's no fun. So I was like, right, I'm going to Thailand on the way home. Like, you know, my love affair with Thailand, maybe you don't because I actually never did any, I wasn't really consistent on YouTube or full time, or not full time, but like in YouTube um, when I went to Thailand, because I've been to Thailand three times. Actually, there is one vlog. I don't know what's it on this channel though. Either way. Um, but yes, so I love Thailand. So I was like, right, we're going to Thailand on the way home. Anywho. So yeah, I was like, right, we're not just going to Ireland. Like we have to travel on the way home. Like why would we just go home to Ireland? Cause also I was earning Australian dollars. So like say a thousand Australian dollars might be only worth like five or 600 euro. Like it's the exchange rate is shit. So I was like, well, I'm not gonna like either two things were gonna happen. Either I was gonna not save all my money and just you know, bop around Sydney and spend loads the last few weeks. Or I was gonna save a shit ton and go to Thailand. So we decided to do the latter to save a shit ton of money 
and go to Thailand. So basically, like, I was so good at saving. Like, I was so good. But it was actually really funny because the week before, because I was earning really good money in that job in Australia, whereas the jobs before that, they were like waitressing and stuff. So it was like not as good money. Tips were good, but like not great. But in this, in my last job in Australia, I was earning really good money and I was like, delighted with myself because my rent was cheaper and like all this because my rent before was as like I was earning not a lot of money and my rent was very expensive so I was paying less rent and earning more money so I think it was like the week or two before that I found out that I would have to go home I literally went on a massive shopping spree in like Mecca, Sephora, like Bondi Junction and then I found out I'd have to leave and I was like shit okay like we have to go to Thailand like there's no two ways about it because the way we booked our flights you can just do multi-city with Emirates so I just booked like we booked multi-city flights so it was like Australia Thailand and then Thailand Dubai Dubai Dublin and we actually were in Dubai for like 13 hours maybe so we did see a bit of Dubai too anyway that's this is all I digress but basically that is the last time like I was so good at saving then like all my money just went into savings because obviously we had to pay for the flights and all the hotels um, and everything like that but you know me well maybe you don't but I'm like travel agent central I did a video on it I'll see if I can link it below or link it here maybe you've never seen it but I did a video on like how I booked Thailand. I don't know, did I go into detail of like the prices of everything, but basically for just over a month, or maybe, yeah, I think it was just over, oh my God, it's lashing right now. Um, I think it was just over a month in Thailand was like, I think it was like $800 each maybe a bit less for accommodation. So that's like 500 euro for just over a month of accommodation in Thailand and like nice places. So I saved a shit ton of money and then I spent it all in Thailand and then I came home and I was basically a broke ass bitch. But like my opinion with money and stuff um, is like money always comes and goes. Like I'm privileged in a way that like I feel like I can always get a job and like if I if the money's ever really low I can always get a job and I can always do something and like because now I do social media and stuff like a lot of people want my either expertise or like my editing or like you know anything like there's always ways to make money I think if you are like if you're privileged, number one, if you have a privilege, you know, if you have a house, if you have a roof over your head, if you have food, X, Y, Z, I think there's always money to be made. Like, I think, like, that's my, like, for me, like, obviously everyone's different and everyone, like, some people have harder situations and I'm just saying for me personally, for my situation, I feel like, you know, the more money you earn, like, so many people are so greedy when it comes to money and I think there's a big greed around it and like saving and hoarding and hoarding and hoarding all your money and like for what? Like, life's for living. But now I am saving because I want to live in a different country. Um, But yeah, so uh, yeah, I just have a very abundant mindset when it comes to money as opposed to a lack mindset because if you have a lack mindset when it comes to money if you always think I've never enough I've never enough I've never enough you will never have enough because you create your reality and don't I'm not being insensitive and I'm not saying that like you know money isn't hard to earn and like there's a lot of hard jobs to be done and like that not everyone has the same privileges in life but I think like you know there is there is ways especially with the internet now there's so many ways to earn money like so many ways so many ways but yeah i don't know where i put my phone um but yeah so i don't know how i went off on that tangent about thailand and everything but basically i have savings now and i kind of love that for me yeah i'm going for dinner with the girls at half seven 
and I have loads of work to do before that. So, but I need to go to the, mo to the shop and get my monster. I can't start my day without that like. Like, who do you think I am? I'm so excited to go out for dinner. Like, I'm literally, because I did my check-in with Kiki this morning. I think I told you that. I did my check-in and I just feel so good. Like, I feel so strong and like, I know, I just feel really good this week. Other than the fact that I was poisoned on Monday from the hangover. But like, ever since then, like, you know, I feel like going to the gym Monday was the best thing to do for me because it just made me feel so good. Sorry, I'm looking for my phone. Um, yeah, and I feel like going to the gym on Monday just really set the tone for my week. So I actually had a really good check-in. So obviously I'm going for dinner tonight with the girls. Have I told you 7,000 times? Maybe. I think I know what I'm gonna get. You know me, maybe you don't know me. I keep saying you know me, but like maybe people don't know these things, little things about me. And also I'm always getting new subscribers. So like, hey girl, hey. Before I go to a restaurant for dinner, I always love to look at the menu and like decide what I'm having. Like deciding in the restaurant, absolutely not. Unless there's like a special on that like really changes my mind. I don't know where I put my phone. Shit. Fick it. Woo, let's get ready to party. So I'm gonna start getting ready for my dinner with the girls now. Let's do a skin update because realistically that's what this whole week's vlog has been about. So as you can see, it's still very angry and very like, see I don't know, can you see the texture of it? But like, see like all here, like it's very angry like. This area is kind of fine, it's just here, as I've said 7,000 times in this video. So part of me was like, shit. Part of me was like, do I do a face mask? before this evening but that could go one or two ways it could really really help or it could like aggravate it because like part of me just wants to whack on some of the Dermalogica face mask but then part of me is like no Rebecca to the, uh, I think I'll do it because I feel like like it's a sebum but see it's not really oil like this is the sebum clearing mask uh, control main factors that contribute to breakouts so it like absorbs all the oil and it has salicylic acid which is like well clear pore congestion do you know what we'll try it we'll try it I swear by this mask normally if I get like a normal breakout but this isn't a normal breakout this is like like even Shun said she was like it looks like an allergic reaction to the drink question mark but yeah um ooh ooh that's just what I do ooh Ooh. I'm not gonna go but I'm gonna cleanse my face and put on the mask and I'll update you but I want to blare music like see I, this is why I hate that YouTube like copyrights things because I'd love to like be blaring my music and like getting ready with you even though you're not getting ready it's Sunday for most of you some of you so you're probably just chilling watching this <laughs> I feel like it'd be kind of fun also I've had the nicest conversations in my DMs this morning actually do you know what I'll save that till I'm putting on the face mask okay hold on two minutes okay. Do it, and that's just how we do it. Does anyone else know that song? I'm pretty sure it's from TikTok, like all of the songs that go through my brain constantly. But this one's like, oh, oh, and that's just how I do. Ooh. I need a mirror, so I'm gonna pop, pop on this face mask. It's actually nearly gone, but it's my I just hope this works, or even just calms it a little bit. I think that's what it's meant to do. See, it's just when I touch my, like it doesn't look that aggressive, I feel, on camera. I feel like a lot of you now are sitting in your bedrooms being like, Rebecca, you are being so dramatic. And maybe I am, but it's like, <laughs> See, I think the fact that like I'd raging acne for years, I'm so in tune with my skin, how it feels, when it feels on point and when it doesn't. And normally I had gotten to the stage that, oh, this is kind of stinging, shit. Um, but I'd gotten to the stage where like I touch my face and it would be so smooth, like, like 
baby skin smooth and I loved that for me like I genuinely did and just at the moment like when I touch like even when I was cleansing my face there that you didn't really see but when I was cleansing my face there off camera like I, I don't know I can just feel it and look just let me live okay we all know alcohol is poison anyway like it poisons our bodies it poisons our brain and um, I don't need it to thrive in life you know it's just a massive part of Irish culture and like having the crack, having the crack, I don't know why I put three fingers up there, which is kind of where the issue is. Cause I feel like sometimes if you say you're not drinking, you're seen to like kill the mood or kill the buzz or like not be celebrating. When it's like, no, I'm not drinking for me so that I don't feel shit tomorrow. Um, yeah, last time I was really, like so hungover, like I would literally fell into this hole of like self doubt and like self, like I was doubting everything. I was doubting my YouTube channel. I was doubting my vlogs. <laughs> like I love vlogging. Like why would I stop the weekly vlogs? It didn't make sense. So it was that day that I ended up booking my birth chart reading, which like 10 out of 10 recommend by the way. I might do an in-depth video on my experience with my birth chart reading if anyone would li like to see that. I don't know, is that interesting? I feel like that's just me talking about myself for 30 minutes straight, but then again, aren't all my videos. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so it was that day that I got the birth chart reading and it like just cleansed my soul and I felt so much better. This week I was listening to old podcasts that I had listened to before that actually turned me off alcohol and like reaffirming everything in my brain. And basically the brain doctor was saying, like I'm not saying you have to give up alcohol and I'm not saying I judge anyone who drinks regularly. But the d brain doctor was saying, so these aren't my words, they're the brain doctors. He was basically saying, he was like, we don't love our brains. Like, if you could see, you know the way like people like treat their bodies well because they want a quote unquote good body or they want to present a good body that is like in line with beauty standards, which we won't even get into, okay? But they want to present that to the world. And he was saying like, if people could see their brains, they treat them a lot better and you know, doing certain things is an act of love or an act of hate to your brain. So like, obviously drinking, he said is a big one, like drugs, all that kind of, like drinking and all that kind of stuff. I don't want to say the words because I don't know what I get demonetized or whatever. And like, like part of me is like, I don't give a fuck about getting demonetized, but then part of me is like, maybe I should just do an experiment where I bleep my curse words. Um, like I'll still say them, but just bleep them and see does it have an effect on my revenue. Might be a fun test. Anyway, and he was saying like, you know, ways to show your brain you love it is like eating foods that like are, it have good fats and like making sure you're getting your vitamin D and your vitamin C and water and getting rid of any negative thoughts or doubting beliefs. And it's just like, I love my brain and I respect my brain and I want to have a happy, healthy brain for as long as possible in my life. I feel like this whole vlog, all I've talked about my, is my skin and my hatred of alcohol. And like, I'm so sorry, but that's just my vibe this week. You know what we'll talk about to distract from that? Politics. <laughs> so we're gonna talk politics for like a quick minute. Like, I'm not gonna get too far into it because part of you, like some of you probably aren't from Ireland, so it doesn't even apply to you. Do you know what I'm gonna do while I'm chatting to you? Actually, I'm gonna moisturize my feet. Because I had this thing last week, right? And this is where this whole, we're back to skincare now. I want to talk about politics, we're back to skincare. <laughs> so my skin last week was like on point and I was looking at myself in the mirror and I was like, wow, Rebecca, you really have your the whole skin thing on point. And then like also my body, like the skin on my body, I've been using this new, upon the screen here, I'll link it down below. It's the Bondi Sands Body Sand, but it makes my, like my skin on my body feel like so soft and like have a lovely glow and then obviously you all know i use the sol de janeiro brazilian boom boom cream and um so you know i felt like my skin on my face was good my skin on my whole body was good like feeling myself you know doing these things self-love whatever and then i was looking at my feet <laughs> and i was like my ankles i'm not going to show you now <laughs> They were just a bit crusty, like around the ankle. Do you know the ball of your foot, like your heel, like 
around the base of my heel like it was just kind of dry so I took a before picture and I got this heel healthy feet cream um this had great reviews online and I was like you know what I'll try it so I've been exfoliating my feet with the Bondi Sands body sand and that makes my feet feel fab and then I've been moisturizing my feet with the foot cream and honestly like they feel so nice because I want like baby feet <laughs> is that weird no not baby feet I just want soft feet like I just feel like you know I want I just love skin <laughs> No, but like, do you know, I just felt like on top of the world last week with how good my skin was looking and how good I felt in my body and like working out and everything. I was feeling so good and like before I go for my shower, I do my bi dry body brushing and I don't know, I feel like the whole pandemic has really got my self-care as in my my superficial self-care, let's say, because obviously self-care is more than face masks and moisturizing your body, okay? It's all about the mind. But anyway, I had got the exterior down, like I was doing my dry body brushing before every single shower, like moisturizing top to toe after every single shower and exfoliating in the shower and all that. And then it dawned on me and I was like, Rebecca, your feet need some attention, honey. So I'm currently just moisturizing my feet. Also, who knows, might sell feet pics soon, you know? Apparently that's a market and I want to move to Dubai every little helps I'm only joking I don't think anyone like how does anyone even get into selling feet pictures like genuinely like is it an OnlyFans thing like can you set up OnlyFans only for feet pictures or do you have to have like stunning feet or like can any foot you know be a millionaire I'll let you know if I find that. I have to get them thick and moisturized first. Like no one would pay for these. Like they're not even that dry. It's just around the to the edge of my heel is is the driest part. But obviously I'm moisturizing my whole. Like it just feels so nice. Um. So yeah. Anyway, Irish politics. <laughs> what is happening? I don't know. But I'm glad you're all here, and I love this community we have. I feel like we can talk about anything. Also, I'd love if I was able to hear you talking back. Talk to your computer screens. People might think you're strange, I don't. Obviously, you all know my stance on Irish politics. I've talked about it quite a lot on my channel. I've never done an actual video 100% about it because number one, I don't want to draw that kind of negative attention because people are like, what does this girl know? She's a YouTuber posting about Irish politics, blah, 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 whatever. And number two, I just, I don't know would anyone have interest in like a full video on all my genuine thoughts. But I have mentioned it in the Sunday vlogs. If you are an avid watcher of the Sunday vlogs, you will know. Um, like I vlogged going to vote, obviously not in there, you're not allowed, but like whatever. And I told you who I was voting for and like all that kind of stuff. So anyway, so obviously we have a new government now in Ireland, which before there was one party running the country. And now for some reason we have three, none of which were the party that won the majority vote, but That makes sense, right? So um, there was a big debate on in the doll yesterday. The doll is an Irish word, but it's like the where all the politicians meet. And apparently there's very comfortable seats there. The seats thing will make sense in a second. So um, there was a big meeting on yesterday and it was actually, they were debating and voting on workers' rights and minimum wage workers and like, um, raising the minimum wage to a living wage because the minimum wage in Ireland is horrendous compared to the cost of living. Um, so all that was happening. So they were having, you know, debates. People were speaking about, you know, the importance of workers' rights and all of this kind of stuff. And um, Mr. Eamon Ryan, who actually happens to be the leader of one of the parties that are in this three-party government was asleep on camera, caught asleep. Like the woman called on him to vote and he had to be waken up. Now, this has me livid. 
and a lot of people twitter is going mad and i love twitter because i love being opinionated and i feel like i can post more of my opinions on twitter and also like find out things um but <laughs> so twitter is going mad because part of twitter is going mad because he was asleep part of twitter is going mad because the nature of what was being voted for and part of twitter then is like sticking up for aim and being like there's a global pandemic you'd be exhausted too like all this but the facts are that mr eamon is on over 100 grand a year and he was essentially at work and caught asleep on live television or on television and um he then proceeded to vote no against the whole you know living wage situation and um workers rights so it's like the audacity, like the irony that a man who is on 100k a year, who only went back to work in June, <laughs> the politicians weren't working for like April, May, like they weren't working and they have loads of holidays, like they're fine. And um, he was asleep and he had the audacity, number one, to feel asleep. Cause I'm sure, you know, a lot of people have wanted to sleep in work in some way or another whether you were hungover whatever but you know that if you were caught sleeping in work you'd be fucked <laughs> so you drink a coffee and you stay awake especially if you're being filmed but he clearly just does not give a shit um enough so much so that he didn't listen he chose to sleep instead of listen to all the debates for and against the motion and then voted no and still has his job and the irony is that the votes they were like the, what they were voting for is people on minimum wage <laughs> you know people of earning the lowest of the low when it comes to salaries if any of those people are on minimum wage which now isn't being raised to living wage because why do people deserve that um if any of them were caught asleep on the job I'm pretty sure they'd be fired you know so that's great that's Irish politics update this week so um I don't get the whole argument of like he was asleep like that and then someone was like oh yeah but the chairs and the doll are really comfy like you'd fall asleep too I just don't know what to do anymore I mean that's why I mean that's why I'm considering that's why I'm moisturizing my feet right now. I cannot stay here one second longer. Let me have nice feet and earn a living off feet pictures, okay? If YouTube's not gonna blow up, feet pictures in my. Isn't that a joke though, like? Number one, if that was a woman, she probably would have lost her job, just saying. And you can be like, eh, it's true. Like if it was Mary Lou MacDonald, the leader of the opposing um, party, I don't know why I'm rolling this up. I'm getting warm, it's getting me heated. If that was her, she probably would have been fired. Like, like imagine the audacity to fall asleep during that and then, and then to vote no. Being like, do you know what? I didn't hear anything anyone said, but I'm gonna vote no anyway. And also the even funnier part of all this, which isn't funny, it's quite terrifying. He's the leader of the Greens party. The party that's supposed to be excuse me the party that's supposed to be for like workers rights and living wage and like he's the leader of, of that party so you can see why i'm currently moisturizing my feet you know you would be too <laughs> part of me sometimes is like i wish i was so ignorant to politics and like wasn't informed on it and you know just believed either whatever my parents told me or whatever i heard or like you know just believe the media even but um i actually like to inform myself which is a double-edged sword because then you get annoyed and then people are like oh yeah but like like what's wrong with that like it's such a double-edged sword but i think like no one has the like i don't understand how someone can say they're not interested in politics because politics literally decides your whole life you know unless you live in like a hut in a field and don't work and don't, don't use any electricity and don't use any benefits and like don't do any of that 
like politics decides your whole life so I don't understand how people can just kind of shut it off and not have an interest and not stay informed it just doesn't compute with me I don't know maybe I'm wrong you know maybe I'm wrong to be informed maybe I'd be better off if I wasn't but that's just not my vibe right that's just not my vibe so anyway I'm gonna wash this off and hopefully my face will feel a little bit better window again just because I washed off the face mask hold on I think it's a little less angry is it I think it is oh thank god okay so i'm ready to go lads i actually feel so glam and this is the outfit i'm just wearing like black wide leg pants with some military boots and a leather jacket and a booby top but lads i feel so glam i haven't felt this glam in a while yeah let go let's go for dinner i can't believe we're actually doing something in the vlog <gasps> look at the angel say hello everybody Say I missed you. Do you want to go into bed? Right. So I'm walking now. Well, I'm not walking right the second, but I am. But uh, I need... I haven't eaten in hours. I'm starving. All I've had to say is a bowl of oats. Um, a half a bagel toasted, like a bagel slim, not even a real bagel. And two squares of dark chocolate. I'm hoping it doesn't rain. It'll only take me like 10 minutes to walk there and we're supposed to be there for half seven as I feel so glam who am I sorry I actually don't know hi my name is Rebecca in case you're new you probably never see me looking like this but uh yeah the hair now I had it like clipped back but I think I prefer it just down I took a makeup selfie It's so pretty! So, we just got here and, um, or I just got here, the girls are here, I'm waiting on Barbara. I'm so hungry. I might eat myself at this rate. So, that's great. And I'm gonna have some water because I'm, I haven't drank water all day. So, that is, I hate that for me. Well, I actually said that you might say hi because I was like, my fr I'm with my friends tonight, my friends I've known all my life, and they actually might say hi because hi. they put hair and makeup on, whereas usually they're shy from the camera. Why am I singing so out of tune? Saturday, 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 Saturday. Sorry, I'm trying to balance you now, lads. Got it, got it, got it. I put you on my protein um, tub. <laughs> Happy Saturday morning. Oh my God, I'm sweating. I'm just home. I've been up for hours, but I couldn't start the vlog because I woke up and first things first, skin update. Lads, look at this. It's like, it's not, 100% but like it's nearly all cleared <gasps> look I'm actually delighted I'm over the moon so that was the first great thing about my Saturday sorry I'm actually sweating <laughs> the second great thing is I woke up I went for dinner last night didn't drink we love that for me had 700 pints of water and came home that was all great then woke up this morning and basically it's my cousin's my first cousin's 40th birthday tonight i'm pretty sure it's a surprise i'm not sure happy birthday shelly she definitely doesn't watch these but <laughs> either way so it's her birthday tonight so i was like okay i have to get a present you know me that's birthday queen so i was like i have to get a present and then it was also my other first cousin who is actually Shelley's sister Elisa's birthday during the week but her birthday isn't a milestone birthday but I was like just because it's not a milestone birthday like you can't arrive to a house to two birthday girls with one present I would just never I could just I could never I could never so I got two presents so I'm gonna show you what I got so I had to run to town because I have a shit ton of work to do today. Like I have to edit this vlog and I also have to do work for Shona 
Um, actually, I'm editing, so I'm editing her YouTube videos. I'll link her channel down below. She is, she's after setting up her own acting, online acting business, and she does courses and everything like that. So I'm editing like her vlogs and she's like, if anyone's interested in like setting up their own business or becoming an entrepreneur or like, you know, interested in seeing how someone with their own business kind of works and stuff like that, I would definitely recommend subscribing to Shauna's channel because she's going to be doing all that fun stuff. So I have to edit that video for her or finish editing it. I've been nearly, I've been edited, but I just want to re-edit it before I send it to her to see what she thinks. So I'm going to show you what I got because I feel like sometimes birthdays, it's hard to buy for people, you know, and you never know really what to buy. And like, especially like you don't want to buy something too personalized because they might like it as in like, you don't know that they like it. Like say like a moisturizer or a body cream. Cause I feel like body cream is a funny one. Cause everyone likes different smells. Like I love like rich, vanilla coconut vibes but not everyone would like that and especially like do you know they're my first cousin so it's like it's not like I know exactly what they'd want or like but I thought it would be nice to kind of show you what I got for each of them because I think it's nice Joe, to mark people's birthdays and you don't have to go OTT you don't have to splurge but it's nice to give people a token and hopefully a token that they will enjoy for I'll start with Shelly so for Shelly it is her milestone birthday so I was like right what will I get her and I know she oh not only recently but I think in the last maybe year or so started like like her skin's fab, but she started like using like vitamin C serum and stuff like that in her skin. I just always say how glowy it is. So I was like, right, I don't want to get her like a, um, something for her skin that I don't know will she use. So I said, what better thing to go with than a mask? Because I feel like not everyone treats themselves to more expensive masks or good masks and but everyone would love a good mask i feel you know to relax and also she's a hairdresser she's my hairdresser and uh she's working overtime at the morning at the moment so i thought you know it'd be nice to like treat yourself with a mask like tomorrow she could wake up after her birthday and put on a mask so anyway i got her this one it is from trilogy and it's actually new so this is it, it's from Trilogy and it's actually new, but I've used Trilogy products in the past and I, I would think they're very good. They're very good for your skin. So this is a over age proof overnight mask. So it says firm and deeply hydrate with glycobet blend L22 and vitamin C. What is L22? It's a super ingredient. So boost hydration with a powerful blend of botanical extracts and vitamins new super ingredient l22 restores your skin lipid profile to what it was at 22 sorry i need this like i'm 26 uh helping the appearance of elasticity and firmness gl firmness glyco blend reduces collagen breakdown and vitamin c promotes radiance so you just leave it on overnight Lovely. Sk keep skin supple and glowing. Helps improve elasticity and firmness. And it makes your skin look like it was 22. Sorry. So just a face mask. I think it's a really nice present to get someone, in my opinion. And I got her this just a little birthday bag and a card. Um, so that is that. Because I think a birthday bag is very cute. So first, because I got it in CH, right? But CH gave me like this massive bag and I wouldn't, I'd hate to give someone a present of a massive bag and then just a little mask inside it. So just in the little bag, love that. And then for Elisa. So Elisa's not a milestone birthday, but I still wanted to get her a token because as I said, I love birthdays and I could never arrive out to two birthday girls with one present. It just wouldn't be in me. It just, I'm a birthday person. I don't know if you know, but now you know. So I got her this, right. I'm very excited now for this. I'm so excited. Like I want this for myself. I want both these things for myself and I think that's a good sign of a birthday present. So I got, 
I was in town, I was like, what will I get for Lisa? I was like, I know she loves the Estee Lauder Bronze Goddess perfume. But I was like, she probably has that, like she's an air hostess. So she probably has loads of it. So I was like, right, what would I like now? As a, a, like a token birthday present, but that I know she'll like, that kind of has thought behind it, right? So I was like, I'd love to get her a candle in TK Maxx. But I was like, you all know I was in TK Maxx last week and there was no candles. Also, I was in town. I have loads of work to do today before this party. So I was like, I don't have time to be going over to TK Maxx. So I was like, all right. So I went into this like little local shop in my town, like a support local business. Um, actually, both the shops I bought off were locally, which is great for me because I order a lot of things online. It's just how I work. Anyway. So this was from Dan Fitzgerald's and it's actually an Irish candle brand. I've never heard of them, but I'm actually gonna check them out now because this is it. So it's oh lovely, the Perfume Collection Dublin. Um, and it's by this girl called Rachel McCann and it's 100% natural wax. Create your own personal spa at home with this gorgeous mix of chamomile and fabulous lavender. And honestly, you can smell it through the box. And I feel like that's when you know a candle is good, when you can smell it through the box. So the shout out to Rachel. I'm gonna, the website is olovely.com. Um, I'll try to find their Instagram. But I just found this in the candle section and I just have a nose for candles. And like there was Yankee candles and stuff. But in my opinion, Yankee candles are severely overpriced. Like, I just think you can do better than a Yankee candle. Do that can I? So when I saw this, and when I saw it was an Irish candle brand, and when I picked up the box, and I could smell it through the box, I just, I knew. So that is what I got for Elisa. And a card, and again, a lovely birthday bag. So the birthday presents, little birthday bags. I just think it's very cute, you know, a nice thing to do. So yeah, next time it's someone that you is in your family or your friend or that you care about birthdays, face mask or a candle might be a great shout. Let's guess what else I got today. A John Does Donut. And I think I'm gonna close off the vlog here because I'm aware I vlogged a shit ton yesterday whilst I was getting ready. And also I have a shit ton of work to do. Have I told you once? Have I told you a thousand times? Oh my god. If you don't know, now you know. John Doe's Kinder Bueno Donut, lads. If you're in Tralee. Actually, speaking of in Tralee, I met a subscriber in town when I was buying the birthday bags. And she was like, I love you. you I never got her name. Shit. But you know who you are. She was like, I literally love your videos. And she loves Kelly Stamps as well. She's part of the Stampede. She was so nice and we were chatting and I never asked her her name. I'm such an idiot. But it was so nice to meet a subscriber in town shopping on a Saturday. So I'm gonna leave you here with these great vibes. I hope you have an amazing week, guys. As always, if you're not subscribed already and you always come back for the weekly vlogs, what are you doing? Just subscribe. It's like all you have to have is a Gmail account. You know, comment down below what was your favorite part of this week's vlog. Comment down below whatever you want. Comment down below how you're doing today, your favorite emoji. Actually, comment down below what color comes to mind when you think of me. Okay, I'll talk to you later. Bye.